In this video, we are going to demonstrate the How Am I Driving Android app in action on the road. What you see on the screen of the movie is user interface of the app. The user interface is pretty simple. It doesn't contain any map information so that the, so that the driver is not distracted by driving in case the user is looking at the, at the app. It has some uh, text information and some buttons, some icons. On the top of the screen, you see the exit button. User can click on it to to exit the app. It asks for the user to confirm whether he or she wants to exit. The app automatically detects mode of transportation. As you just saw, the mode icon change from a pedestrian, from a walking person, to vehicle because we are currently in a vehicle. I'm with my friend who is driving and uh, we're capturing this movie inside the vehicle, inside the personal vehicle. The app is also supposed to differentiate between personal vehicle and a transit vehicle which consists of bus, train, ship. You see logo of How Am I Driving app on the left side of the screen near the middle by clicking on that, the app takes you to website of LockX. The browser opens and you see. Okay. So the app already detected that we are in a vehicle and also it found out that we are in a personal vehicle. Still, the app asks the user to confirm whether he or she is driving because you could be in a personal vehicle but it's still a passenger. If the user is driving, we request the user. So to do, uh, we request you use it not to touch the app, not to interact with the app while driving. It's dangerous. It's not safe to use the phone while driving, and that's the whole point of this app. We want to promote safety. The the, the query message disappears by itself after 30 seconds, and the default answer is yes. That means the app assumes that the user is driving if does not receive any response to the query. So again, while driving, if the query showed up, if you heard the audio message for the confirmation. Please do not touch the app. Do not use the app. Okay, so now we are in driving mode and we can demonstrate capabilities of the app in particular related to driving. But before that, let me explain some of the information that you see on the user interface. On the left side of the screen, the two lights that you see that are currently green, GPS and accelerometer, those, show sta those lights, those LEDs, show the status of these sensors. Those are the main sensors that we use for this app. We also use other sensors and other information <coughs> of the phone, but these are the key information that based on them, we estimate mode of transportation. When they are green, that means that the sensor is on and it's able to produce basically results measurements. The app uses those results. When they are orange, kind of yellow, that means that they are on, but for some reason not able to produce information. So the GPS, for example, is on, but it's in a tough environment, there are tall buildings near the place and somehow the signals are bright and GPS is not able to find out position of the phone. When they are red, that means that the app is not using them. We turn GPS off as much as we can basically because GPS is a very power consuming sensor. So we try to use the, the GPS and other resources of the phone as minimum as possible in order to to have a better battery life. Our app, we believe, is very, very battery saving. It uses just few percentage per day, which is orders of magnitude better than other maybe similar apps. You see the location information in degrees, lat line on the left side of the screen below the LEDs. Speed information is in miles per hour and also outputted in kilometers per hour in case you are not in US or other or in a uh, or you're in a country that uses metric system or mode driving as you can see it should match what the icon shows the battery formation C stands for current that means the current percentage of the app it's currently charging because it's connected to the PC and that's how we are capturing this movie but if it was not charging it would have shown a number with the letter U before that that means used so that's that would be percentage of the battery that the app has used since the launch time of the app or last time that it was charged. ET stands for elapsed time in minutes 
OB is on battery and T is total so it's total number of minutes that this app has been on so this app on this phone that you are particularly using has been on 824 minutes in total upload the status information the green information uh, the green text that timestamp is the time the last time app sent data to our server so the app collects some location data and as they become available as it's the right time uh, it sends them to our server so the server process post process those data and find out the uh, like a safety a score and both of other analysis on those data TBU which right now has this in B29 text next to that that means the th that shows the to be uploaded that means the number of data points that have been cached have been collected and soon they will be set oops so uh, we just had to do a hard breaking here because the traffic was all of a sudden slow the app detected that it says hard breaking level one the rate is minus 0.33 G or minus 11.52 kilometers per hour per second the level of heart breaking varies between 1 to 4 4 is the highest and 1 is the lowest but still 1 is a, is a heart breaking the app actually also detects heart acceleration which means like heart pickup both these these uh, actions heart breaking heart accelerations are unsafe and on top of that actually uh, the research has shown that the drivers that do more heart breaking heart acceleration than average they may actually the vehicle may end up consuming 20 percent more fuel so just by actually following the app suggestions and trying to make the app not nagging per se and uh, not uh, showing up this heartbreaking heart acceleration stuff the user actually may end up saving saving 20 percent gas also uh, going back to the right side of the screen these buttons the speaker icon user can click on it to turn off this message for example the heartbreaking uh, heartbreaking audio message I just saw if the speaker if, if you if we were in this mode the speaker was off then uh, you, would, you would have not heard the, the audio the phone would still vibrate actually unless the phone is in silent mode the update five second button user can click on it to have the information on the screen being updated only once every five seconds by default they are updated every second so just in case the screen is not wide or long enough to show all the information and the user has to scroll down and scroll up this uh, button actually would come handy every five seconds it would be updated so it gives some time to the user to to scroll down and see the information near the end of the screen find button enables the user to find location and mode of transportation of another another user in real time the name is just some name here I can say for example Sharam the username is the username of the user that he or she has created on the website so on the website of LogX users, we suggest we okay here we go. So this is my information, Sharam's information, basically this phone's information as of five twenty seven oh six AM. This is Laugh Line and we are near town of Danville in California. That's where we are testing this app. The trip report. Currently there is no trip report in this app because it has been just recently basically have had the app installed. But it would have shown the trip summary report the summary of the last driving trip if you had that if I've had it the stars below below the icon below the logo of the app the green stars they, rep they are representative of driving safety score it's a number that could vary between 0 to 800 kind of similar to credit score between 700 800 the colors of the stars would be green which means that uh, it's, it's an indication of a safe driving, safe driver. Between 600 and 700, the colors would be orange. Below 600, red. When the app is first launched and used, installed, the default score is 650. Then after that, uh, the app and the server monitor driving behavior, and the score may go up or down based on the behavior. Currently, the score of the user that is using this app 
is 716. The four circles below the stars, the one that have letters C, B, S, and C in them, they are showing app usage rating. App usage rating it's based on percentage of time that app has been on during a specified period of time, which which are these periods of time are last 24 hours, last week, last month, and last six weeks. The one farthest to the right is for the last six months, the one farthest to the left is for the last day. So this phone has not been on that much during the last 24 hours. It has the lowest rating C, which is stands for copper, B by the way is for bronze, S for silver, gold, G for gold. And C means that the app has been on less than 50% of the time. Gold means above 90% of the time. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that we have on the on the app. As you see, its user interface is pretty simple. We are we are for simplicity and practicality. Okay, so now I'm going actually to use another phone and make a call to this phone. The app handles actually calls while driving in the sense that it sends automated SMS reply to the caller and also change ringtone of the phone to silent as you saw it just ringed once it didn't ring anymore because we are driving so let's go ahead and miss this call and see if the app sends okay as you saw it says SMS auto reply was sent to this number however if the call is received from the same number three times or more within the period of three time three minutes then the ringtone is not changed this this information this piece of information that the if the call is received three times within three minutes is actually is included in the SMS auto reply message so the other users know that if it's an urgent call and it has to reach the person then it has this option okay so this is the second time they're missing the call by the way, the call has to be missed. Other, if the call is answered, then the SMS auto reply is not sent because um, there is no point. If you are answering the call, then why should you send automated SMS reply at the same time? This is the third time. Okay, see that the app rings. Okay, let's go ahead and answer this call. Okay, so the phone actually, this phone that you are testing right now, actually is not using is 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 with me, which. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not driving, but still, since at the beginning of the app, we, co we confirmed basically by not re responding to the query that we're driving, the app would consider it as an unsafe action. Under upload status, you see it says uploaded B18 CD1, the green text. CD stands for call while driving. It means that the app captured that the, the user this case me uh, has been answered the call while driving so it sends this information to the to the server this piece of information is used uh, for the for calculating the driving safety score we take into account actually several factors including uh, phone calls while driving phone viewings while driving uh, on heart braking heart acceleration and uh, duration of driving trips duration of transit trips you know if the user do more transit trips it would help actually it would increase the safety score uh, the driving distance and and number of hours the, the basically amount of time that driving has been has been done in dark hours all these are important okay so I'm going to now uh, press the power button and lock the phone and unlock it back to show how it the app captures phone viewing while driving Okay, so under, under upload status now you see B39 slash TD1. TD stands for texting while driving. We are not doing any kind of texting, but any any uh, instance of phone viewing when the screen is on, we take into account as a texting while driving. So texting while driving or phone viewing, we interchangeably use these words a lot. Still, it has a negative point. And uh, it all depends on du it, uh, all of the app records is duration of this unsafe uh, related to uh, phone usage is duration of those events. 
So uh, duration of phone call, duration of phone viewing, that's all we care about. We don't uh, collect any phone number or anything. We don't send any of this personal information at all. Okay, this ends uh, this uh, this audio, this uh, video. Thanks for listening.